Having trouble keeping up with the accelerated life-altering changes occurring on the planet? Reporting to you from the new Earth, the newly forming world reality of vibrant health and well-being, united community, and personal evolution. Tune in to learn how to update your internal coding and biocircuitry to the rapidly shifting consciousness so that you too can become a divine human. New Earth Central is the brainchild of Meg Benedicte, a pioneer in quantum vortex healing and energetic activation, weaving together ancient spiritual knowledge, quantum physics, and vibrational healing. Every show is dedicated to promoting a holistic lifestyle that supports all life on the planet. Additional services are available at our website, NewEarthCentral.com. And now, here is your host, Meg Benedicte. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the show. We are so excited to be meeting up here today. What a spectacular day. We're going to be doing some great work here, celebrating the solstice and this great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter at zero degrees Aquarius. It is such a powerful day. The energies are huge, and we're just very excited to do this work with you here today. So before we get into the meditation, let me bring on my beautiful co-host, Manette Mays. Welcome, Manette. Hey there, sunshine. Thank you so much for hosting this. This energy is so big. I don't think I can do this without you. It's so amazing. We were just mentioned we were just chatting before we got started and how this is this is not just something that's like happening in the spiritual community. This is happening all around the world. This is like mainstream. We we I was on Facebook earlier and everybody's talking about it. It's all in the news and so it's possibly also why the energy is so strong is because we have this really focused in you know attention with everyone on this one event today. And so we're going to be joining in on that, that ride that wave of that energy. But yes, it is just off the charts. Amazing. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Even people who, who aren't necessarily esoteric are paying attention. They don't know what it means. They're like, it's got to mean something. Yeah. They're like, this is something big. <laughs> it is big. Yeah. <laughs> So, well, we also want to welcome everyone who is new to the show, and we're excited to have you. We're giving everybody a minute here to get onto the caller lines or onto the webcast, and so we'll go over the format of the show, and then we'll get started. And so first I'm just going to do a quick brief summary of the energies that we're going to focus on here today, and then we'll shift into setting up the sacred space and working together with our beautiful angels and spirit guides and travel to the galactic center and work in this gateway. This is a powerful solstice gateway. So we're going to be working in that gateway to do our activations. And we're going to kind of split the meditation into two sections. The first section will focus on our own personal healings or clearings and setting our intentions for this new cycle that we're starting. And then we'll switch and do planetary intentions working with Gaia and the elementals, the nature kingdom, and working on really birthing our new earth, so doing planetary intentions or global intentions. Now, at the end of the meditation, then we open up to, uh, contri- you know, so you can contribute your own global intention as well, and Manette is uh, keeping an eye on the chat room and the emails, so Manette, let them know how they can reach you for the, their global intentions. Sure. Um, If you have a global intention that you'd like me to read out loud um, after the meditation, please send it to support at newearthcentral.com, support at newearthcentral.com. If you have a brief one, you can go ahead and put it in the chat room and I can get it from there. Um, But the email is probably the best way. Yeah. Yeah, we've already had quite a few coming in already, so you guys are on it. <laughs> We're ready to go here. Mm-hmm. That's so great. Everybody and, do their homework. Yeah, really, they're they're ready. And, and and it's best if you can really focus your intention on more planetary global uh, positivity, and so that we can really give our heart and love into them, because you will have time to do your own. Uh, personal intentions. Okay, I think that's it for now. So we will get started, Minette. So I will check back with you after we're uh, ready to do the global intentions.
Okay. Okay, everyone. So today, oh, what an amazing day. I mean, the the solstice is always such a powerful day anyways because it's it opens a direct pathway to the galactic center. And this is located at 26, 27 degrees Sagittarius. So that's where we're we at like right now this week. It's been um, very um, uh, close into that alignment so you may have been feeling it already and, and we're going to be working with that it's a zero point field and so that's what we're going to work in when we get into the galactic center but basically when you work in a zero point field whatever you initiate and, and intend uh, is it just ripples into the quantum field of all potential all possibilities so that's why it's such a powerful time to set your intentions you know usually we 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 think oh we need to set our intentions on New Year's Day but w this is actually the the best time to do it when we're aligned with the Galactic Center. Also, today's 12 day, as I've noticed, uh, 10 days ago we did our 12 12 activations. Well, today is kind of the the bookmark of 12 12. It's now 12 21. And so this is the day where 12 and 21 are mere opposites. And so it's a day of really coming into union and balance and oneness. And and if you're new to working with kind of the esoteric uh, numerology, 12 is it's a sacred symbol. It's a universal ascension code that signifies attainment of the 12th dimensional Christed divinity and we're going to be connecting also with the 12 dimensions and the 12 strand DNA the 12 codes of Metatron geometry we're working with the 12 phi harmonics and the 12 root races of the great central Sun you can see where 12 it ripples through everything it's in our math it's in our science it's in our astronomy and our astrology it's you know 12 hours of uh, in the clock 12 months so you're gonna see this is a very powerful day of 1221 the mirror and then as I mentioned earlier on the same day of the solstice is this amazing powerful astrological event it's one of the most powerful events of our lifetime it's the great conjunction as Jupiter and Saturn have now joined together at zero degrees Aquarius they both left Capricorn this last week or so and they met up earlier today at zero degrees Aquarius and this launches a, a new astrological age Age. it's the Aquarian era and it really does have life-altering effects it's emphasizing more humanitarianism uh, intellectual reason new innovations it also rules the internet so we're seeing we've already been experiencing some of the benefits of Aquarius for a couple decades but we're going to go further and further deeper into the Aquarian age from today forward and when we go into these gateways if you're new to working with these gateways they operate like a threshold point where in a way we go um, into an upgrade into higher frequency and higher consciousness kind of like if you've ever heard a sonic boom when a jet you know is flying through the time barrier that's in a way how it ex we experience it and that might be part of the power you're feeling today it's, it propels us up into higher frequency and into higher consciousness and that's why these gateways are just so powerful and why we work with them when they come around so so just kind of keep that in mind and as I mentioned everybody is tuned into this powerful solstice and the great conjunction and so we're going to join together with meditations that are happening all around the world as we seed the planetary field and birth our new earth in this Aquarian era so very excited to be here with you and let's go ahead and get started with the meditation so especially if you are new to this process let me give you a couple little pointers that will help you if you can be either standing or sitting with your feet on earth because we're going to use our feet chakras to ground into vortex energy so that we're able to work through these activations so that's just for the first couple minutes here as we're setting up if you can have your feet on the earth and also we're this is um, work that we're doing with more of our higher mind higher super consciousness so we ground so we stay in the body so you're going to stay very present in your heart and your belly you're not leaving the body but we're going to use our higher mind higher super consciousness to travel to the galactic center and do 
the work there in the in the gateway. So just want to kind of um, encourage you to make sure that you really are grounded. We're not leaving the body. And also we're using our right brain, which is our holographic brain. It's our psychic brain. It's what we used to visualize. It's our multidimensional brain. Our left brain is only a three-dimensional thinking mind. And so the left brain isn't able to travel to the galactic center with us in a way it will um, it'll kind of go dormant as we bypass it and we use our right brain to go up and out into these higher dimensions and so if you find as we're doing the activations you might be kind of you know going back to thinking about you know what do I have to get done tomorrow <laughs> or whatever you start getting into kind of the mental chatter and the thinking mind that's the left brain and just pause when you catch it and breathe deeply and move back more into the right brain into your psychic holographic mind to continue with the activations they're more effective if you're working with the right brain also too I get uh, a lot of emails from people who get worried that they go into a deep trance while we're doing the activations and so not to worry if that happens this is very common because when the, the left brain is dormant we can go into a trance state it means everything is still working everything's still happening you're still receiving the activations it's just you're not as aware of it you're not as cognitive of it because you've gone into a deep trance there's times where Manette's reading the your your beautiful global intentions and I start going into a deep trance <laughs> so just know that this this happens and um, probably if it is happening to you often maybe don't lie down because you might just be going really deep and in, into that trance state stay sitting up that might help but if it happens not to worry this is very common I found that as I was doing these in the early years I would go you know out for hours into a deep trance now because I've been practicing so much with it I'm able to stay awake and alert as we're going up and in, into the higher dimensions. so just this is a great way for us to practice to use our holographic mind use our right brain so it's all good <laughs> okay all right you guys so let's go ahead and get started so let's just kind of take a couple deep breaths I will come inside into the core center of the body, into the heart and the breath, into the belly, and we're getting centered in the body, <clears throat> and we're going to use our feet chakras like magnets and lock them right onto the earth plane, right onto your grounding path of light. And then we'll go even lower and extend the roots of light from our feet chakras into the ley lines, the network of our crystalline global grid. And this is into the 5D to 12D crystalline grid of our new earth. So we're getting really selective of where we're grounding. We're grounding onto our ascension timeline, onto our new earth crystalline grid. And just drop into the body and ground with the feet. <clears throat> Connect into our beautiful Gaia. Ah, there we go. And as we're setting up this sacred space together, I'm going to connect with all of you remotely to assist you as we go through these activations. And we're also creating our own sacred space. Vortex is going to run around your aura, so there's no blending as we're working in a global group here together. So just know you're in your own space. What we're uniting is our focus. So we're using kind of a group mind to create our intentions, but everyone is in their own vortex, their own personal sacred space. And so as we're setting up this sacred space, let's go ahead and connect to spirit so from our hearts we connect to divine mother father source yeah, we connect to our own God spark our original soul presence our I am presence and connecting to our soul star family and yeah, we're bringing in our support team of angels and archangels and spirit gods and ascended masters Connecting to the shamans and the elders, the wise ones, our protectors. So we're calling in our support team and just have them circle you with their love and their presence and their support. We're also working with Gaia and nature 
And so connecting to the nature spirits and the devas, connecting to the crystal kingdom, the plant and animal kingdom. We're bringing in the elementals of air, fire, water, earth, and ether. So just bringing in the elements of alchemy. And Archangel Metatron just stepped in and he's placing Metatron's cube under your feet in your grounding path. <clears throat> this is made up of an outer circle of six pillars of light, inner circle of six pillars of light, and then the center circle. And as we activate it, those pillars start to rotate right to left around you. So this is if you're looking from your higher self down onto your head and down to the body, it's going to go anti-clockwise around you. So we're just going to get those pillars starting to activate and begin to rotate and start to accelerate and just breathing into your vortex as it begins to open up. Those pillars are going so fast now that they're beginning to blend into a vortex of white light spinning anticlockwise. And the reason we spin anticlockwise is it's starting to expand and open out from time compression. So as it's spinning faster and faster, it begins to unfurl your field, opening it up and out into the higher dimensions. And so just start to let it open and breathe into it as it's accelerating. All right, it's going even faster towards the speed of light, starting to collapse the time barriers and gravity, Ooh, opening all the way out to the quantum level. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, and that allows us access to the virtual particle field so we can begin to work with our energy bodies. And so now let's come inside and we're going to begin working with our light body and the chakra column that runs straight up the center of the body. Let's go down to the pelvic floor, the hips, and connect with our root chakra the base chakra, and we're going to now do an inner spiral, still anticlockwise, but now it's a tight spiral. It's going to go up your chakra channel. So as we rise up, we're creating a clear and open channel all the way up to the top, to the higher self. Now we go up. Whew. And as we get up here into the higher realms, we can connect to our God self, connect to your soul energy, your higher self. This is your beautiful light being making, I always do like a heart to heart connection to my higher self. And then we're going to reverse and come back down. Now your channel is working like a receiver. So you're a clear, open receiver, breathing down and in. Soul light, soul vibration, soul essence, soul consciousness. Just breathe it down and in. <sighs> Filling inside with your soul presence. Oh, your beautiful soul light filling into all the chakras, all the way down back down to the base root. Ooh, there you go. This is your kundalini life force. This is your chi. This is your spiritual nourishment. This is your soul light filling in you. And as it fills in, let's go now focus to the heart center. And just this big open heart filling with soul love, soul light, soul presence. Ooh, there you go. Just pulsing with soul vibration, radiating your soul light, just like a big sun in your chest, radiating your soul light through the body and aura. Oh, there you go. Ooh. You might even feel like your energy is already beginning to rise higher. We're starting to get more in sync with our soul vibration. Okay, next step is to establish zero point in the body and field. So what we're doing is we're neutralizing polarization in our field. So okay, to do this, we're going to run the infinity of light and have it looping left, right, horizontally at the heart. And another one looping left, right, brain 
at the mind and the center of that in the mind is right there on your third eye there you go beautiful okay and so as they're weaving back and forth the affinity is a balancer it's a unifier so it's starting to do its magic it's starting to balance energies <clears throat> let's go focus into the center point of the infinity and the heart and the mind and this is called zero point it's zero gravity it's you can just tune into it it doesn't move it's very still it doesn't have any polarization so it's neutral okay everybody getting into it beautiful and now we're going to start to breathe our energy into that zero point balance in the heart and the mind all the way in and it begins to spread through the body Ooh, there we go starting to bring all the bio systems into coherence bringing the heart and the mind into coherence Ooh. And it's be also it just naturally begins to repel out any non coherence or negative polarized charge. And so we're going to use the spin momentum to start to spin outwards all non coherence, all negative polarized charge up and out of the physical body, emotional body, mental body. And we spin it back to source light to be transmuted to light. Ooh. Just release it out. Oh, very good. Up out. So everything that we clear today, we're not just kind of spewing it all over. We're directing it right to source to be returned to light. Okay, excellent. And now that's where we can start to do our activations. We're in zero point. And we're embodying our soul essence, our soul light, our soul presence. Okay, so this vortex that's spinning around us, this is um, it's a magnificent ascension tool, and it works somewhat like a time uh, machine. It can spin back in time. It can spin forward in time. So let's use it. We're going to start to spin back centuries. We're going to go all the way back to the original time of the galactic civilization of Egypt. It's called Zeptepi. So we're going way back in time. This is even before the dynasties. This is even before Atlantis. We're going way, way, way back. And we're, we're not leaving the body. As I mentioned, we're using our higher mind. We're using our super consciousness to travel there. So as best you can, just follow along and visualize if you can. And so imagine that we're stepping into the Pyramid of Giza. And we're going into the center of the, the main floor, the ground floor. We'll gather there. You might feel the warm stones under your feet and the free it's a frequency generator. And so it's humming and vibrating around us. It's linked up to the galactic center. It's linked up to the other star systems in the Orion belt. All right, there we go. Everyone's starting to get in. All right, so you're grounding to that space-time you're grounding into Giza and it is a golden ratio pyramid so we are still in our vortex and it's spinning around us but we're now inside the angle of the pyramid and so it starts to propel our vortex to spiral up it's called the ascending spiral or the resurrection spiral so it's spiraling up our bodies and then all the way up to the capstone to the eye of Horus Go, just follow it up with your super consciousness. And we're going to go all the way to the top of the pyramid at the, at the peak. Whew. All right, everybody gathering here. And we're going to connect with our escorts who will take us to the galactic center, Archangel Michael and Archangel Metatron. And so I kind of lock elbows with one on each side, but connect with your escorts. All right, everybody getting ready, and we're still in our vortex, and so we're going to use it to propel us through space-time to the galactic center. So everyone ready for liftoff here? Okay, focusing to the great central sun at the galactic center, we travel through the universe, and our vortex creates a spiraling wormhole that we travel at the speed of light or faster. 
And off we go. Whew. Everyone beginning to arrive at the galactic center. It's a massive spinning black hole vortex. And this is where life begins. This is where stars are birthed. And connecting to the spiraling black hole vortex is a parallel spinning white hole vortex that opens to a crystalline universe. And so if you can get an idea of how those two vortices, where their funnels meet at the points, right where they meet, right where their points meet, is called a zero-point field. It's, the, it's our galaxy's zero-point field. And so we're going to go step into that space between our spiraling black hole vortex and between on the other side to the spiraling crystalline white hole vortex. Okay, right into that zero point energy. And if you're new to zero point energy, it's considered a void, but it's not an empty void. It's actually a very vibrant field of popping electrons, virtual particles that rise up and recede back into the field. And it's pure creative life force. It's source force. Okay, this is what we're stepping into. It's the source field, zero point field. And so as everyone begins to arrive and get settled in at this powerful zero point field, a shimmering stargate arises in front of us. Oh, and this is the source stargate. Chris shimmering, brilliant, crystalline stargate. So let's all step inside it and get into the center of it and begin to open our fields and receive this infusion of God light just pouring through our being. It's shimmering crystal particles in it. Just breathe it in. Oh, allow it to flow through you. Allow it to wash through your entire being. It's nourishing you. It's strengthening you. Oh, it's purifying your field. Just let it wash through you. You're receiving divine source love into your being. Just breathe that in. Just receiving the blessings from divine creator force. Crystalline light pouring through you. Filling your heart. And as we stand in this source stargate, receiving the crystalline infusion of source love, source light, we proclaim to the universe that we are sovereign beings. We're reclaiming our sacred space and the freedom for all of humanity and Gaia herself. And so in your heart and your mind, proclaim out to the universe, I am all that I am. I am all that I am. And let it ripple out. Oh, and let it receive back. Acknowledged by the universe. We are divine beings of light in oneness with our source creator. And so now let's focus into the solstice today. And so now the solstice stargate appears in front of us. And so now let's step into the solstice stargate. You might see the 1221 at the top of it. But we're all going to now step in and again. Let's breathe in the powerful solstice wave of love frequencies into our being. <sighs> We're connecting with the 12 tribes of the great central sun. These are our ancient ancestors. They're going to help us with these activations. So let's focus on 12 first. 12 is this sacred symbol. And in this solstice celebration, we have 1221. They are mirroring each other. They're mirror opposites. 
And so we're going to work with this mirror effect of 1221 as we're standing in the solstice gateway. Okay, so working with the mirror effect, so visualizing your masculine and feminine energy facing each other as mirrors, integrating, blending, uniting in wholeness within your being. Visualize your heart and mind facing each other as mirrors, blending and uniting in wholeness and oneness. Visualize your soul self and your human self facing each other as mirrors, reflecting and blending and integrating together into union and oneness. Ooh, just let that, it's building, just let that amp up a lot, it's coming alive. Visualize your ascended life and your current life facing each other as mirrors, reflecting and blending and uniting in oneness. We're working in unity consciousness right now, working with the mirror effect. Oh, it's beautiful. And as you're standing in this sacred geometry of the solstice stargate, you're in the stillness between the worlds, which is blending all into unity consciousness within us, all aspects of our being into unity consciousness. Oh. Spinning together in oneness. <sighs> you may feel like pieces of the puzzle coming together and locking in and integrating and blending again in oneness. <sighs> and as we are standing in this zero energy, just, uh, let's start focusing on this zero energy. So the solstice initiates a new season at zero Capricorn. And the solar system, it's aligned with the galactic center at zero point. The great conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter today are at zero degrees Aquarius. So we are in this powerful moment right now where we'll let's just immerse ourselves in zero energy and it's the potent void space of all of creation and just allow zero energy to wash through you and just help releasing anything you no longer need or anything you don't want to bring with you into the new Aquarian era so just let it wash through you it's zeroing out what doesn't uh, support you doesn't enhance you, just bringing it into zero energy. <sighs> and this expansive nature of Jupiter and the structure of Saturn teaming up to help us accomplish what you may have felt unimaginable before. So it's in our grasp now, especially on this very momentous day. So again, as we're standing in zero energy, it's the ending of an old era and the beginning of a new cycle, a new season, and the new Aquarian era. So we're at kind of that pause between the ending and the beginning. So as we're just awash in zero energy, let's clear and dissolve away any blockages or barriers or opposition, any patterns or programs that limit you from living your total expression of your being. We command it into the light. We dissolve it into the light. We flesh it out. We spin it back to source now. Release what you are ending. Release it. Clear it. Flesh it out. Whew. Good job. Keep clearing, commanding out, releasing out, flushing out what's going to zero. It's not coming with you into the new cycle. 
Oh, good job, everyone. All right, now let's command out any past destructive time loops from the past to collapse and release. Again, into the zero energy, into source light. Oh, good job. Whew. And in today, we honor the past, all it has brought us, all it has taught us how it has strengthened us, how it has opened our hearts. We honor it all now. We bless it. And we release the past into source light. We're cleansing ourselves of the past in the solstice flame, in the refiner's fire of purification. Ooh. Oh, there you go. We stand cleansed and nourished and ready to start the new era in the purification flames of source, light. And we open and allow the coming changes to lift us up higher and fulfill our soul's destiny so just open your heart, your mind, your being, embrace positive change. Open your heart to fill with the joy of the new era. Open to receive the source light into your crystal light body and soul blueprint to activate it for the new cycle. Ooh, let that run through you. Ooh. As we're starting this new cycle, envision the new doors opening in front of you on your path to new life experiences, new opportunities, new spiritual growth, new strength and maturity. Just open and embrace what's activating in front of you on your path of light, of this new year, this new season, this new cycle, this new Aquarian era. And we set this into motion now. And so it is. Whew. And as in we're in this potent zero point beginning. Okay, so now we're releasing the past behind us and we're facing forward on our path into the new beginnings, the new era, the new year. We're going to take a couple minutes. We're going to pause for silence so everyone can focus inside and set their personal intentions for the new year, for the new cycle, for this new Aquarian era. And as you're visualizing it and you're you're reciting it, you're claiming it, really feel as if you're already living it. So put yourself in it as if you're already there and you're already feeling what it feels like to be living it as you visualize it and set your intentions. Okay, we're going to go into silence now for a couple of minutes for everyone to get really focused and set your intentions for this new era.
So giving your intentions, your love, your light, and we're seeding them inside us, in our hearts, in our fields, on our paths, in our magnetism to come alive. And let's connect to today. It's the first day of Capricorn, and this is an earth sign. So let's make our intentions earthbound in this solstice energy, earthbound, so they can bloom and grow and manifest. <sighs> Setting our intentions to anchor and ground within us, with our own being, with our own hearts, within our physical lives, on our path in front of us. <sighs> and we set this into motion now. And so it is. And so it is. And so now we're going to add our planetary global intentions as well. So just stay in your powerful spin. Stay in your vortex. You're in the solstice gateway. We're still powering up. The energies are still building. This is pretty incredible. Okay, so now we're going to focus on our beloved Gaia and all life on Gaia. And as I mentioned earlier, today we're aligned directly with the Galactic Center. And so let's start to stream. We're just going to send a huge, powerful wave streaming this beautiful, brilliant solstice, crystalline, dima, plasma, light infusion to all life on the planet. So we're just pouring it into Gaia's field, spinning in flowing in, just flooding the field with this brilliant solstice light, crystalline diamond plasma light. Ooh, there we go, saturating the field. <sighs> On this, this is the shortest day of the year in the northern hemisphere. And so we are welcoming the solstice light to rise on the horizon, to grow and expand all around the world, illuminating the entire world in brilliant God light, just pouring it in. Whew. It's getting stronger. It's rising higher. Whew. Sending our love all around the world to all life on the planet. And we are the star children who came to seed this planetary field with crystal seeds of love and new systems of living and loving and being. And so we are seeding the field. Okay, and so calling all of the way showers and earth keepers and grid, grid workers. We are connecting to Gaia's crystalline grid. We're connecting to her earth chakras. We're connecting to the sacred sites, the pyramids, temples, stone hinges. We're connecting to the crystalline global grid on this sacred solstice day. And there are two planetary mirror grids. One is above the earth and the second one is deep into the earth and they are fully active today. Today's the day of mirror reflection and so let's stream the powerful solstice light and this Saturn Jupiter brilliant light into the dual mirrors radiating back and forth throughout the earth plane. Woo! It's rising higher and higher. It's getting stronger. It's amping up. Whew. Mirror reflections of divine light throughout Gaia's field, deep into her grids and sacred sites. The portals at all these earth chakras and sacred sites, they're starting to get more expansive. We can connect with Mount Shasta and Uluru and Giza and Glastonbury and Stonehenge, wherever you're called to connect to sacred sites, continuing to stream this powerful light, galactic light, 
into these sites, into the earth chakras, into Gaia's grid. We're building it stronger and stronger and amping it up. Ooh, it's getting higher. Ooh, higher and higher, getting stronger. You guys are doing great. Okay, so now we're going to do some cleansing work with these mirrors, with this powerful light. We're focusing on Gaia's grids, earth, earth chakras, and the dual mirrors, and we command to reverse the reversals created at the time of Atlantis. We command to reverse the damage of human DNA devolution and hybridization. We dismantle it now. Command it out, spin it out, remove it out, cast it out, back to source light. <sighs> We are clearing Gaia's timeline since the fall of Atlantis and the predator consciousness. We are here from the 12 root races of Orion Belt to repair the damage since Atlantis. We are the new Earth emissaries and we are birthing the new Earth in the Aquarian era. We command to remove all the destructive time loops and transmitters wherever they are attached at the sacred sites and nodal points dating back to the fallen consciousness at Atlantis. We command them out, we flesh them out, we spin them out now. We're the cleanup crew, we're birthing our new earth. We command to uproot and remove all grounding cords tied to the old patriarchal era to unlock and clear away now. We are unlocking and clearing away all the predator programming, patterning, code, and consciousness, including the viruses that are parasitic and predators. We are commanding this all out of our bodies and out of the collective field now. We are the galactic witnesses to the ending of the patriarchal era and the birth of this new Aquarian age. And we set this into motion, and so it is. Whew, and so it is. Whew, whew, whew. Quite a lot moving right now. Just keep spinning out what we are not allowing to continue into the Aquarian era in ourselves and in the planetary field. With these two largest planets joined at zero degrees, Jupiter and Saturn, they're sinking with the galactic zero point field. So let's again spread this zero point energy, zero point balance into the Gaia's grids, the sacred sites, the earth chakras, into the stargate portals, into the collective field now. So we're zeroing out from the closing ending era. Yes, oh, feel that. Ooh, that just rippled all the way around the world. Ooh. Oh, just let that run. Wow. We are zeroing out the patriarchal era. We are zeroing out the predator consciousness. We are zeroing out the fallen Atlantean timeline. We are zeroing out the fallen shadow. Whew. Whoa. Guys are doing great. <sighs> and today in the solstice, the 1221, the day of mirroring, let's take a moment and we're going to connect to our own visions of our new 5D Earth. However that appears to you, however it feels to you, however it, you sense living in the new earth. Okay, we're going to just get that nice and strong within us. It's a beautiful earth living in harmony and freedom and balance and health and prosperity and joy. And we're going to see these dual mirrors 
on earth reflecting our new earth visions throughout the earth plane okay there you go starting to move your visions into the dual mirror reflection top to bottom back to forth left to right east to west north to south the mirroring our new earth visions and intentions and hearts desires and on this momentous day we proclaim freedom and justice for all life on planet earth we are ready for a new and better world we are breathing life force into a new humanitarian paradigm we are bringing the Aquarian era alive now and so it is and so it is Whew. just let that ripple around the field quite a bit of energy moving you are the star children you're seeding your new earth we're seeding the new era Whew. Whew. Now the energies just keep getting higher and higher and stronger oh, so as we set this all in motion and we're holding space with it we're also going to take a moment for everyone to visit your starseed souls original home star and so we're all here at the Galactic Center and we're going to by locate to our home star you don't need to know the name of it or where it's located just connect to your beautiful soul energy your own soul will take you home to your home star your home starlight your own soul family and so we're all going to quantum jump home for a minute and connect to our beloved soul family and just breathing in their love oh, they're just surrounding you with their love and support just breathe that in breathing in your home star light into your being Home is where the heart is. Just breathing in their love and spiritual nourishment, their loving kindness and care, their strength for you, their support. All that we need inside us. Just imprinting home energy within us. And if there's any gifts that you want to bring back with you to Gaia to assist your own personal ascension and the planetary ascension, we're going to start to collect those and bring them inside us for safekeeping for the journey back. And it can be in all shapes and forms and sizes. It could be light. It could be colors. It could be frequencies. It could be crystals. It could be knowledge. It could be technology. So everyone gathering what they're going to bring back with them to their lives on Gaia so we're going to bring them inside us tuck them away safe inside you might even be experiencing some light body activations while you're here in your home starlight all that we need going into the new Aquarian era starting 2021 with all our gifts okay we're going to start to reassemble back at the galactic center at the massive black hole vortex connecting with our escorts metatron and michael for the journey back to earth Ooh. 
We're in the deepest of gratitude to Divine Mother Father Source and the 12 tribes of the Great Santo Sun and our Archangel family for all of their support in these activations. And so as we're gathering here together, we're still in our vortex. They're still spinning fast and we're going to start to leap into space time to travel back to Earth through our spiraling wormhole traveling all the way back into where we are physically present into the body heart mind into the room onto earth you can tap on your arms your legs as you're coming fully back inside bringing all your sacred gifts back with you inside you and all our activations are in motion now Ooh, here we go all the way back in and getting earthbound Landing into your feet, onto Earth's grid. Ooh, there you go. Coming back in. Settling back into the now. <sighs> On this beautiful solstice day and the great conjunction. Just settling in. <sighs> Just breathing in. Now in the oneness of the I Am Presence, we invoke the Divine Mother and Divine Father to stream the frequency of love into the heart flame of every being on earth, our new home in unity consciousness. And we set this into motion now. And so it is. So it is. Amazing work, everyone. Whoo, it's still running. And so we've created a very powerful force field that we're going to now add your global intentions into. And so we'll start with the emailed ones. Let's come back to Manette. Hey. Hey there. <laughs> <laughs> First from Sean on Vancouver Island in Canada. I envision a world where we finally know within our being that we are one with our Creator and one with each other. There is no need for fear because we are powerful in this connection and are supported always and in always. Mother Earth Gaia is restored to her true perfection as the Garden of Eden she was always meant to be. All is love. Mm, so we're going to give all these intentions, our love, our light, like we're watering the seeds in the garden. And so we set this into motion. And so it is. And so it is from our ever loyal Pia in Switzerland. I wish for a world that is free from all low frequency and manipulative forces and energies. A world free from this enslavement prison to the lower dimensions. A world that can completely regenerate itself without the harmful and toxic artificial influences over the last years and centuries. A world in which people live in harmony with all nature kingdoms. Mm -hmm. A world as it was in originally intended as the primary creation in love and light. I wish that only those people are allowed to stay or incarnate on this planet Earth who have reached a higher consciousness and vibrate in higher frequencies. Only those people and beings who live in the unity consciousness and who embody and live the heart virtues, appreciation, gratitude, compassion, humility, forgiveness, understanding, and valor or courage have access. Mm -hmm. I wish that the only I am we are consciousness will be lived on this planet in this solar system and in this universe, because then there can be no more violence, no abuse, no manipulation, no more enslavement, no suffering, no imprisonment, but only freedom, joy, harmony, beauty, truth, health, and a life in togetherness and for one another. I wish that now free energy technologies are released and are freely available to every single human being. This would free humanity from being enslaved and the exploitation of the earth would be stopped once and for all. I wish that people no longer have to work and pay to live on this planet. I wish that human trafficking is stopped 
in the entire solar system and universe. I wish that everyone is free and at least lives in abundance as their self-proclaimed power elite has done so far. It is the birthright to all people and beings to live in this abundance and not just the right of small self-appointed elite. I wish that humanity is going to help the earth transform back to the paradise garden that it was once intended for. But humanity should not now fall back into the Stone Age or the Middle Ages. No, it should now form a highly developed civilization in unity, consciousness, and unconditional love, reconnected with Source. I wish that people can travel freely not only on planet Earth, but on the solar system, in the galaxy, and in the multiverse. I wish that this dark age, this dark cycle in slavery, destruction and manipulation and lies will now be extended, I'm sorry, ended once and for all, and that now finally the new golden age of unconditional love, joy, freedom, and unity, consciousness in this togetherness and based on the highest vibration begins. I am, we are. So it is. Mm, we set that into motion, and so it is. Thank you, Pia. From Stephanie. May all personal and collective wounds and negatively charged memories and all timelines, past, present, and future, be transmuted, healed, released, and forever for all, and replaced by divine love, light, joy, harmony, harmony peace, And infinite blessings. Thank you. Mm, And so it is. And so it is. From Linda. My intention is to save the ones we can. Mm -hmm. And so it is. And so it is. From Stacy in New Jersey. Silver and gold, silver and gold, as we walk forward into the new earth on this day, we welcome a new gold standard in more ways than one. Good has overcome evil and light has eliminated the dark. We all walk forward from this day into trust, joy, abundance, health, and happiness. As we light workers gather today from all around the world, we spread our light to all people to uplift their vibration and bring peace into their hearts to replace the fear that has unjustly been spread by the dark. We are all needed to assist others to accept truths that are being revealed now. Living heart forward with compassion, we will shine the way into unity consciousness. I wish for everyone to relax, breathe, and rest assured that everything is working out Mm -hmm. and we are fully protected. I am telling, I'm sorry, I am here to tell you that it is done. Mm, We set that into motion and so it is. From Bobby, may we remember who we are and be free from repeating lessons of past cycles. May we graduate to the next stage of self-acceptance and wholeheartedly integrate our soul into the physical, realizing we didn't come here to conform and fit in, but to transcend the consensus of the third-dimensional common sense. May we be our genuine heart-centered expression when our beliefs are tested, allowing our example to do more than words alone can accomplish. May this empower us to stand fearlessly in love and bless us with divine grace and patience for all on their path of awakening. Mm, We set this into motion, and so it is. It is from Katie in Montana. Bright blessings to all. Being vibrations of nature ourselves, My intention for this solstice is that we celebrate ourselves and nature during this transition into peace on earth by cultivating presence in our own lives and in our communities. May our individual ripples of peace, joy, balance, truth, and love vibrate brightly out into the world. During this solstice, as the sun stands still, We are in perfect alignment to pause and to listen to the celestial realm. Mm -hmm. 
We are in the perfect alignment to activate the miracles that we are being showered with. May we individually and collectively experience a deep connection with the universal love that allows us to hold all beings and Mother Gaia in reverence and true equality. May we gracefully awaken and care for each other and our incredible planet. Loving blessings, one and all. Mm, and we set this into motion, and so it is. Let's keep giving all these intentions our love and our light. It's growing stronger. <laughs> so strong from Marilyn. Living an unpredictably joyous life, shining my light bright, being of service to others, continuing lessons and sharing lessons, being curious, gaining in clarity and discernment, grateful for help and blessings, loving, sharing, and helping others as we move forward together, learning, growing, cherishing our family, community, country, world, all beings, the earth and nature, and our friends present and future inside and outside of our world. Mm, and we set this into motion, and so it is. So it is from Jan. May the highest empowered forms of the divine masculine and the divine feminine reside within each of us and give rise to the peace, harmony, joy, love, and dynamic balance that is divinely intended on our beautiful planet, both within and mm. without. Oh, and so it is. So it is from Carrie. She says, uh, thank you for this work that you're doing to usher in the new solstice paradigm on the highest level. My global intention is that every sentient being in the 5D realm experience profound healing, abundance, peace, and joy during this time of transition into our new way of globally and planetary respectful and unified life with great full thanks mm, and so it is so it is from Abby my intention is for the end of all abuse and repression of the feminine on Gaia and so it is and so it is from Don his wish is that everyone who is currently working remotely full-time will continue to be able to work con um, remotely full-time from anywhere in the world until they retire. And so it is. And so it is from Jill. May every human, every creature have enough to eat. All humans and creatures are treated kindly. Mm -hmm. So it is. Just keep giving it our love. This is building and building. From Victoria in Brooklyn. My intention is to light the way with my art, sharing the steps of my journey and the alchemical process of self-discovery that I went through and eventually led to tap to a higher state of consciousness and connect to my true Source self. And so it is. So it is from Paula. My intention is for everyone to truly forgive themselves and realize their full potential as a divine and sovereign human being. Mm, so important. And so it is. From Mana. May we be in the flow with our glorious divine timing, releasing all fear and allowing love for self and all that is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm, thank you, and so it is. Beautiful intentions that keeps building. Mm -hmm. From, um, I always mispronounce this name, I think it's a beady. Um, I heard that in February, scientists discovered four new genetic codes in our DNA. Let's make sure they're open and activated. And so it is. And so it is from Dawn. On this most beautiful day, my intentions are to move with ease and grace into the age of Aquarius, to 
enter into the collective yes. I intend to align my personal energies with the energies of the cosmos, entering the sacred threshold of the divine and holding these energies, magnifying their infinite blessings into the world and out into the cosmos. Mm, and so it is. So it is from Sheila in New Mexico. On this day of the greatest divide, may we build the biggest bridges and live our highest consciousness. Mm-hmm. So it is. So it is from Vision, sorry, Vision Dancer in Maui. May the beauty that we are be what we do. May the divine light within each being Ignite, awaken, and fully unify the field of love here on this planet together. This love and light is already everywhere, already inside of every human. May the victory of love be complete. May all hearts be united, and may new structures come into being to align and support us in manifesting a world Dedicated to love, unity, harmony, and the good of the whole, may peace prevail on earth. Mm. And so it is. So it is from Julia in England. It is my intention to see a new possibility at this moment in time, here and now, in union with my soul and in alignment with my highest truth, to touch the hearts of humanity and heal and inspire peace, love, and joy and to teach through the art of music how to be and live magnificently in tune with the seasons on our beloved Gaia, giving bountiful thanks to God, the source of all, for abundant divine gifts received. Mm, And so it is. From PJ, I would like to set the global intention to honor our children and support them in this new Mm -hmm. age with love and divine guidance. Yes, for the children, and so it is. It is from Athena. My intention is for all the children of the world to be respected and loved, to be safe and honored. May we all awaken to our duty of care and become deeply aware of what it means for children to grow up in safety and surrounded by love. May we make the new world possible. Indeed, and so it is. And then from theory, thank you, Father, Mother, God's goddesses, for my healing teams of soul families, ascended masters, teachers, sages, archangels, legion of angels, my guardian angels, high council of light, league of light, and all beings of love and light from all dimensions, all time, for your loving blessings, guidance, teaching, and protection. May we continue to have the love, wisdom, power, strength, and courage to be open and receive your blessings, release that which no longer serves us. Mm-hmm. May we continue to move deeper into the 5D in life. And we set that into motion, and so it is. Beautiful intentions. And one from the chat room for you. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. you go to the phone, I'm from Catherine. My global intention is for all being to open their hearts to their soul purpose in this lifetime and all beings expand their light, their connection, bringing love, compassion, hope, forgiveness, and infinite possibilities for humanity and Mother Earth's evolution. As we activate this galactic light, as we are all emissaries of light, co-creating our new Earth in divine light and love with the powerful energies of the dawning of the new age of Aquarius, a better life and world. We set this into motion, and so it is. Such beautiful intentions. Oh, we are just in this field that's pulsing with light and love, vibration. Let's add a couple more. We have our caller. So if you would like to add uh, your global intention through the phone lines, please dial 1. Uh, I don't have your phone number. I'm sorry, I don't have your name. I just have your phone number. So I'll call out the last four digits of your phone number. If you can give us your name, 
where you're calling in from and proclaim your intention. So we're just continuing to add to what we just created, which is such a potent field right now. Okay, first caller, thank you for waiting patiently. We've got 7753, you're on the air. Hi, Meg. Hi, Manette, and everyone on the call. It's Tiffany from Santa Cruz. Lots of love to everyone. Mm, hi, Tiffany. Whew, what a beautiful call today. Yes. Oh, so what's in my heart? I want to call on, please, Archangel Metatron and Master Alchemist of the Violet Flame, please, to erect permanent architecture of divine light over the White House, the Supreme Court, the buildings of Congress, and every governor in the United States, please, for uh, to hold the light for this change in leadership, for a peaceful transition, for wisdom and love, and to reunite the United States. Uh, and I ask for this for everyone on this call uh, from different countries, and we expand this intention really for all countries and all leaders and may each of us step up in our true divine destiny of leadership and be the best leaders we can be in our spheres of influence and so i ask for maximum blessings of divine love and divine light dear divine mother help this transition into our new earth be of 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 the most loving the most gentle the easiest transition it can possibly be thank you so so much. Mm, we set this into motion now, and so it is. Thank you, Tiffany. Oof, new beginnings. Yeah. This is it. We're starting it. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, let's go to our next caller in the queue. We've got 7961. You're on the air. Hello, hello, all divine, beautiful beings. Thank you again, Meg, for such an incredible um, holding of energy mm-hmm. and, and journey to allow us to do our work. It is, it is so sacred. Thank you. Uh, my intentions are to call upon um, uh, all of us as divine beings and uh, to aid in this planet and connect our energies to create this divine um, 5D paradigm. Um, if it's if it's not in our path, I I ask that we um, give the same love to those that are are holding um, a different path, and that may they rejoin us as soon as they are able, with as much ease as their path allows. Um, I'm holding deep unity for those that hold this darker path, because without that, how could we see this light? And I truly wish that as we shift into this brighter new paradigm that we're able to embody and feel and and notice this amazing light without the contraction of the dark. Mm-hmm. May all beings truly embody and feel this. May this time of unity arrive in perfect time and may we all feel joy and be able to rejoice this amazing ascension. Mm. We set this into motion, and so it is. I didn't get your name. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. Oh. Beautiful intention. Thank you for calling in. Oof, this is still building. Okay, we just have beautiful intentions coming. Uh, next one is, let's see, last four digits, 1743. You're on the air. Ah, uh, hey, beloved family, um, Meg, Manette. Uh, it is Ayla. I am in Crestone, Colorado, uh, ground zero. And let's see my intention for the highest and best good of all that is thank you all for being here pure water pure air pure earth pure food 
pure, loving, heart-centered connection and relationships? Free and clear, all pollution. Free and clear, all karmic patterns and trauma and any anchors and hooks. Um, To our beautiful plant life and animal life and our people who have taken on any of that density, let it be cleared now. May all building and transportation, uh, both human and multidimensional, uh, level be in alignment with the highest divine levels of love and light and sacred geometry and in harmony and in balance with earth and the flows of nature. And may all be blessed with abundance of love, abundance of support. May all of our needs, basic needs, be met with ease and grace and effortlessly. Um, May we be able to share ourselves with each other. Divine creativity to all of our projects and creative endeavors. And may the forces of light become even stronger, more grounded. And may we bring more peace to all of our communities and may all of humanity awaken to our responsibilities, our divine purpose, and our divine, um, whew, yeah, mm-hmm. that we are the divine sacred protectors of earth. May all humanity awaken to their role in that and may we be financially supported. And may that financial support be in alignment with our universal bank account and sacred commerce. And I love you. I love you. I love you. May you all be blessed with your highest divine good. Thank you so much. Mm, we set that into motion now, and so it is. So it is. Thank you, Ayla. And so it is. Oh, we have got quite the family of light here. There is so much energy building here. We've got more callers. Our next one waiting in line here is 3746. You're on the air. Three seven four six. Hi Meg and Manette. Hi Meg, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Thank you. You're on. Hi Meg and Manette. This is Gary Nicky, the shamanic samurai medicine man from Washington (laughs) D.C. Just want to say thank you so much for your love and leadership. And you know these have been getting so exponentially powerful (laughs) for me. Each one, the eleven eleven, the twelve twelve, and now. 1221 and I just can't thank you enough and the team for holding the space and everything I really appreciate it and this solstice has been really powerful it's literally perfect timing because yesterday I realized that I'm the DIY Zen guy and so I have that URL now and that's what I'm going to work with with my book and with that I want to be able to express the deepest gratitude to Mother Earth, Father Sky, Grandmother Moon, Grandfather Sun, and to the universe and the multiverses and all the cosmic building blocks and dust that bring us the health, wealth, abundance, prosperity, and perfect self-expression for all of us, myself and all of us around the world, to be able to live in harmony and to be able to have everything that we require to make our mission on earth mm-hmm. and thank you so much to you to Manette and the team love you and bless you thank you thank you thank you thank you aloha and mahal thank you gary we set this into motion now and so it is blessings to you my friend 
Thank you. Okay, our next caller is just amazing. You guys are amazing. All right, next is 2499. You're on the air. Hello, it's Sherry. M many blessings and gratitude to each and every part. Mm. I speak this word knowing mm. it is already done for each and every human sentient being, four legged animal kingdom, nature spirits, all to awaken to this bright light of the conjunction, the greater conjunction, and may every human heart awaken with light and love and knowing of how to step forward in ease and grace and unfold the path perfectly for what is the divine assignment of each and every one of us so that we may move forward and create this new earth, e establish it fiercely and with divine love, blessed be. Now speak this into motion now, and so it is. Mm, and so it is. Thank you, Sherry. Ooh, my goodness, I'm gonna. Thank you, Meg. Love, 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 love. love. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna rise off my chair. <laughs> we are, we are really amping up here. Okay, I think that is all our callers. So we'll go back to Manette if there's any last minute emails. We do. We have three more. Okay. Um, from Kathleen in Minneapolis. May all beings have access to an abundance of fresh, healthy, organic food and clean, pure water free of chemicals. May healthy, organic food become the normal, popular food, which is easy to find at reasonable prices. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so it is. And from Ali, all beings who have been punished and limited for being service to others oriented are liberated and uplifted to experience the wealth of body, mind, and spirit. Spirit. Mm, and so it is. So it is. This is Jessica in California, but I think this is a Jessica that called in. Um, may all beings on this planet connect to the new life energies of 5D. If it is not their path now, may they rejoin us as soon as they are able. May they find the path with the greatest ease. Giving eternal thanks to all beings that have chosen darker paths, for it allows us to see and feel the light. May our future allow us to feel the depth of beauty, sorry, beautiful light frequencies without the contraction of darkness. Yes, it's the same, Jessica. Yeah, May this time of true unity arrive in perfect time. Ah, and so it is. Okay. And so it is. So we have such a powerful energy. We're in this big wave of the solstice and the great conjunction. So let's do our final invocation. Let's just all kind of at our center because we've been really expanded so even if you need to just kind of put your hand on your heart and your belly we're just going to come into our core power as we ground all these powerful beautiful intentions now into the earth plane and they'll be in that light and they'll be growing and blooming as we connect again later next year so let's uh, just focus on all that we have visualized and intended for today's solstice celebration on the sacred day of global healing and rebirth we connect to the rising swell of Christ consciousness filling the hearts and minds of all beings around the world and as we unite in the divine trinity we create a balanced and united universal planetary sanctuary for all to ascend now in ease and harmony and through all levels to that which cannot be named to the silence the stillness which allows all this to be leave only the truth now the truth of our realized divinity and with the power of God goddess that we all are we now speak the word and set this into motion now and so it is and so it is Oh, we just let that all ripple around the field. You can continue to 
set your visions and your intentions your heart's desires today because we are still in zero points so it's a very potent time and we are here together birthing this new era and this new earth together I am so thrilled that you have joined us and we are so Manette and I are so thrilled to be sharing this journey with you together and so we also send you our love and our blessings as well thank you for being here we love you and we hope to see you again in January have a fabulous holiday and New Year celebration and we'll see you soon in 2021 thank you Manette for your support today <laughs> You are so welcome. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for everyone who emails their intention to truly fill our hearts with love. Yes, we can feel it. It's just amazing. So beautiful. All right. Well, stay in the love, stay in the joy, and we will see you on the other side. Blessings for now, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye for now.